In this video, we'll see how PDB Reader handles heterogen residues. The structure 5TCT is a DNA helicase that includes DNA in the crystal structure. Type in 5TCT on the first page of PDB Reader, then click Next. By default, heterogens are not selected for modeling. There are three types of heterogens in 5TCT, ADP, manganese 2 ion, or MN, and zinc 2 ion, or ZN. Let's select one of each. On the Step 2 page, we see a large set of options for dealing with the heterogens. The main reason this is necessary is that heterogens are sometimes absent from the charm topology. PDB Reader can check to see if the heterogen is defined in the charm topology files. To do so, click the CSML search button, which searches the small molecule library archive on the charm GUI website. Because ADP is present in the charm topologies, CSML search is able to find the corresponding parameters. You can see the name and charge of the residue, as well as the charm topology file where ADP was found. In this case, adenosine diphosphate is the heterogen we are trying to model, so we'll select it and click Apply. In contrast, some heterogens are not found in the charm topologies. For example, there is no residue for manganese ions in the charm topology files. There are three ways we can deal with this situation. We could ignore manganese and not load it at all. We could substitute a different but similar ion in place of manganese, or we could create and upload our own topology file that contains a description of manganese. Here, we'll show how to substitute with a different ion. If we click CSML search, instead of getting a list of manganese residues, we'll get a list of ions. This behavior only happens for ions and not for other residues. We can use any of these to substitute for manganese, but the ion in this list most similar to manganese in terms of charge, mass, and volume is Zinc-2. Select ZN2, then click Apply. There's nothing else we need to do on this page, so click Next to generate the structure. Because 5TCT contains DNA, it takes a longer time to generate it with charm. It could take between 10 and 20 minutes, so you may want to do something else while you wait. When it finishes, you should get a normal-looking summary page. By clicking on View Structure and zooming in, we can see a DNA helix here and an ADP molecule here. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll show how PDB Reader handles residues that are missing from the original structure.